innovation benefits us when it solves real world problems. It started with somebody writing down on a sheet of paper an idea, let's try and land on Mars like this. That materials engineering is going to be the significant part of the solution in realizing the vision of building a better and cleaner and a more abundant world for the humanity. How to make materials that are simultaneously very lightweight and also very strong. Create a drug carrier that will allow us to deliver the drug to the targeted area. AI is the new UI. So artificial intelligence is the new user interface. MTech Asia is always a great event. We always love having the teams in Singapore. We meet amazing men and women from around the world, and we talk about technology that is going to change the future. Yeah, the quality of the presentations, the quality of the folks you meet, everything is really in the emerging technology area and of high quality. So you're not going to come here and just hear presentations that, that you feel like I've heard before. You're going to hear things that are new and are going to really challenge you to think about other things. It opens our eyes in terms of how can we utilize other technologies to converge in order to solve the global grand challenges of the world. I would encourage everyone to actually submit your 35 and I believe work hard, dream the impossible and never take no for an answer. But if you subtract one from whatever you think you got, you'll get some crazy number like 10 to the minus 24th. How do I find more geniuses? So they looked into it and they said, if I write a book, the millennials probably won't read it. If I make a movie, they'll forget my name in six months. But if I replace CSI as the number one show on the air globally for the next 10 years, the geniuses may come find us. And the 12-year-olds may grow up wanting to be scientists rather than Kim Kardashian. I think this room probably has one of the highest IQ level in a conference that I've attended. And I attend a lot of conferences. <laughs> AI actually works better the more data you have. This is my third MTech Asia to, uh, you know, to participate in. We are definitely meeting the right people here. It's good to see the great diversity of basic research, academics, uh, as well as startups, VCs, corporates, everyone is here. It's a nice environment to have high-level conversations about what the deep tech can do. If you want to know across a range of different technologies, exciting things that are happening, that may well come to market relatively soon. This is the place to come. I've been attending this um, event for the last three years. I've made the point that MDV, the company which I represent, uh, will participate in all these um, uh, events. MTech is the legendary conferences. I've heard about it in the past. I feel like I've already become much smarter after listening to all the smart people around the world. Invent things that everyone wants, no one's ever seen before, and are really spectacular. Mars is a three and a half year mission, and we're going to go out in about eight months, take about a year and a half to get home, and we're going to be on the surface of Mars for five or six hundred days searching for life. So will our astronauts be able to handle that? 